Hello, Lynn Maloney. Uh, CPS does have data tables. We saw some online last week, which don't seem to be up now, but they are currently missing data. What we see instead is the Big Rocks data report. Data provided shows declines in attendance, reading scores, and graduation rates, and increases in out-of-school suspensions for black students and students with disabilities. There is no data, therefore, in school suspensions, seclusions, and restraints. This is an unaccepted way to present data. Accuracy and thoroughness in the data are missing. Another area of importance is equity. While the Columbia District states they have a district-wide district equity team, I could not locate documentation related to any of their activities in equity and restorative justice practices. Rather, what I found are policies, procedures, and examples of punitive discipline practices. There is no evidence of mentoring or evaluation of staff on the implementation of restorative justice practices, but there is reliance on school resource officers, police, and the juvenile office. Discipline practices stress consequences, suspensions, seclusion, and restraint. Furthermore, when the ACLU requested record from the district, they did not yield records for curriculum materials for diversity training. They did not yield diversity training curriculum's inclusion of restorative practices and working toward equity and anti-racism with community policing practices. They did not include assessment metrics that evaluate the effectiveness of their training versus outcomes. They did not include information about ACE services are overseen for quality, efficiency, accessibility, and connectivity to parents, students, and teachers. The record's request did not include data from CPD about CPS students arrested, detained by CPD, and subsequently retained by the juvenile authorities. They did not include equity team information related to locations, team members, meeting times, and how often tasks, and action plans, and accountability practices for implementation and team, team members occurred. Both the data policies and requests for records show a lack of honesty, accuracy, and thoroughness in the data and practices. Given what we have learned at the NDRN conference, we are calling for changes in our school system. We, expect, we have expectations for needed changes as the follows. The CPS school board and chief equity officer, one, provide thorough, transparent, and understandable evidence of assessment, evaluation, and accountability mechanisms and processes for both restorative programs and practices related to equity work and reporting of all discipline data. Two, we'll present metrics of progress and success that are clearly defined by rubrics in those areas. Three, we'll establish district policies related to equity and restorative practices and programs. Four, we'll encourage, we'll engage in collaborative, community-centered, and inclusive approach to transforming the district's legacy of racism ableism and inequity. Five will develop a comprehensive training, mentoring, and evaluation program for staff to implement both equity, restorative programs, and practices.